What's poppin'? It's your guy King Day from Trapmasters, Trapmasters.net, and here today I'm gonna be hitting you guys with another bomb ass review. Intense Drums by VIP Sounds, man. Pretty dope drum kit. I actually got to go through it and check it out. I picked, I downloaded the pack last night. Shout out to VIP Sounds, man, for sending this to me so I could be able to check it out and do a review for you guys. I actually like it. I'm gonna use it in my production. Um, the beautiful thing about it is it's also made for Akaya and Machine. They, they, they have two different platforms that they got this kit for. The Akaya family, they able to get um, uh, sound kits and stuff like that in it, whereas at the machine side doesn't get that, but they both share the same drum samples and stuff like that. So with that being said, I don't own a, a, a Akaya machine as of yet, but they both share the same drum kits. So let's go straight through this and um, check out all the sounds or whatever, man. The link to this particular product will be in the description. And make sure you guys comment and let me know what you feel about this as well. Let's get straight to the review. King, you deploy. All right, so here we are, Machine 2.7, and um, we're gonna be going through the uh, the process of how I would set up a uh, a drum kit in Machine, loading it, and also. Um, just getting everything situated, you know what I'm saying, the way how I like it um, for it to appear in my uh, machine. So let me pull up an instance of Intense Drums HD by VIP Sound Labs. This is the actual file right here. I'm on my hard drive. Uh, actually, this file right here is saved in my document where along with my other um, drum samples. Um, and what I normally do is I have a, a app called key finder that I would, uh, drop the whole folder in. And what it's going to do is just going to recognize the actual key to every sample in this drum pack and, um, and tag it. So then that way, when I pull up the machine, as you can see right here, it actually has to root no key. So then that way, if I want to play the sample with a melodic, uh, uh style of playing i can do that or just want to have it in the key that um of the beat all right now that the uh, the batch analysis uh, process have been uh started and now finished um, what i want to do is go and highlight one of the samples and then select all i want to highlight all the samples and then write to key and that what that's going to do is just write um the root note key to the file wherever the, f the file resides in your drive or external drive wherever it's, wherever your folders uh, are kept at it will actually write that into the file itself so see you got E and B flat A so and you can close out of that app and now I'll go here and maybe go to a hi-hat or something you can see it's actually written to the file itself. Pretty dope. Okay, so now what I want to do here is uh, I'm going to come here, go to share, and normally you just go through your hard drive. So you'll go to your drive, you'll go to user, you'll go to share, and then from there you want to go to NI resource. You go here, and um, what you're wanting to do for the machine users who uh, care about the artwork showing up in your machine, um, you would just simply just go in right here, your intense drum HD folder, and from there you just take that image and then drop it into your image folder right there where the rest of your images are stored at in that directory right there. That way, once um, put my password in, um, once you go to load it into machine, uh, the artwork will show up. So I'm done with that part. So now what I want to do here is uh, go into my preference, go down to library, click on the user, hit add. And from here, I'm going to search for my drum pack. And here it is right here. So I'm going to take that, load it in. You come down at the bottom mostly. Most of the time it's going to be stored down at the bottom. As you can see here, it is right here. And uh, hit scan. It's going to scan it through. Okay, so now that it's scanned in, 
close out of this window right here and I'll be able to see the artwork and all from here. So I'm gonna go down. It's in alphabetical order, so I should see it in here. Here it is right here. Click on that. There you go. I have my um, favorite tab on and if you haven't saved anything as your favorite yet, it's not gonna show up anything. So don't be alarmed because you didn't see the uh, the samples, uh, the files load up. It's only because I had the uh, my star lit uh, highlighted. So all right, so let's go through some of these sounds um, and check it out. And actually, as you can see, the artwork is loaded up right here, and then also shows up in the machine uh, studio as well. So. It's going to go through and uh, play out the samples so you guys can hear them. Don't be upset, guys. I'm running through the kit like this because um, a lot of people be on YouTube, man. They'll go crop out sounds and stuff like that. So, um, and just being cheap about everything. <laughs> You know, so um, to protect this kid, I'm just kind of rolling through it um, to keep people like that from uh, chopping the sounds out and stuff. So just understand why I'm doing it. <clears throat> yep. oh, pretty dope. That's nice, too. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to save that. There's a couple of mine there. Yeah. My bad. Got my microphone sitting right up on me. There we go. And mind you, um, they do have uh, a demo pack of this. If you go on their site, you can be able to download that pack for free. Um, just a demo of it, just so you can try it out and stuff. Um, to see if you like it and uh, purchase it from there. So that link will be in the description if you happen to like this kit so far. Just to throw that out there. Let's do So definitely if you're looking for some drums, it's got some grit to it. It's definitely dope. Okay. So um yeah, go check out that link, man. I'll probably do a cook up video or something like that. Um using some of these drums. I just gotta get my kit together. And actually, you know what, they actually have kits for this. Um, I'm gonna load them up and here they are right here. Here's, we got uh 10 different kits here, so it's gonna probably show up like this. 
That's only because I had changed the uh, the file name. And when they say the kits originally, it didn't have the root no key. So I'll go through and um, actually uh, find out the samples for this, which is going to be in the drum uh, pack anyway. Just refine them and save it as the kit. And then I'm able to use it. So I'll be right back. All right, so now that I got all my samples reloaded back in um, with the key actually saved to the file um, as the original kit that they had saved um, that, that came with the pack or whatever. Um, only thing I didn't really like about it is that once I loaded up all the samples back in, I noticed that all of them were set to uh, to 8 in the polyphonic uh, uh, part. So I had to go back in and and resave all that and for it to be a drum kit, you know I mean outside of the you know, those sounds right there, you might want to um maybe like do maybe a two or three on there or maybe even eight, depending on what you're doing. Um but so far as the drums, the snares, the the hats, the clap and kick and all that type of stuff, um, I just feel like they should probably have been set to one, um, being saved as a kit. So, um, but that's my only gripe. I, so far, I like all the sounds. I'm going to go through and trigger all the pads and stuff like that so you guys can hear them, but pretty dope kit regardless. So, pretty dope kit, but um, I, I would probably have to uh, save all 10 kits like that. Just go back in and reload all the samples back in and then uh, save it. And actually, I don't even know if I saved this, um, but good, saved it. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, man, I, I definitely like this kit. Definitely for tracks I'm wanting to do um, more of a, a vibe or a old school vibe with it or whatever. Probably throw an 808 or something like that. Um, and mix it in with the uh, the gritty drum sounds and stuff. So I can see I can use this in my production. So you guys go cop that kit. Um, like I said, it's it's definitely a demo version of it that you can cop for free to check it out. And um, that's pretty much it. All right, so now you guys checked it out. What you think about the sounds, man? Leave that in the comments. Y'all feedback on it is greatly appreciated. Like I said, the link to this will be in the description as well, man. Shout out to VIP Sounds for sending a brother this copy of the drum kit, man. I appreciate it, man. Dope sounds. I love it. Nice grit to it and all. Um, also, they also have on their website um, a free download as well. So if you kind of skeptical about download or buying the kit or whatever, you can actually check out the sample pack that they have. And it also works in machine and uh akaya as well so make sure you guys go pick that up uh, download the free copy check it out and then if you happen to like it go cop that thing man it's definitely something you would need in your production so this you got king david till next time i'm out peace king you deployed